Oh, so it is. Sweet. Normally, it lets you take a photo, but I guess this time, it didn't do it. Hold on, guys. Let me get us straight, straight away here. Let's see if I can regenerate. Boom. All right. Good, good. Sweet. That's better. What's up? Ed Rizzo. Ed Rizzo. Victoria, Pity Love. What's going on, Jess? Shelby Wilson. Man, I haven't seen you guys and talked to you guys forever. It's been a while. Let's see if I can. Um, that the mansion you live in? No, I don't live in no mansion, guys. This is a uh, an apartment complex. But long time no talk. I know, right, Navy brother? Oh, hold on. Natalie's sending me a Snapchat. Let's see what it is. Natalie's such a nut. <laughs> that girl's crazy. Hey, Natalie, just want to let you know that you're on you now, right now. Say hey to everybody. Hey, what's up, Natalie? Oh, boom, got gotcha. you. Hey, I should I should try to guest her on, like you now. That would be pretty cool. But I'm gonna wait a little while. Um. I'm going to wait a little while until Natalie comes on, and I'm going to see if I can guest her. Let me see if she do it. Hold on. Let's see. Natalie. Hey, I'm texting her right now, guys. Landon, 1402 proposed. That's crazy. What's up, man? Thanks for the proposal ring. Hey, babe. Guest with me on you now. All right, I texted her, so I'm going to Zappa 2001. James, Jason told me that he's so tired from him being forced to wash your dishes. He's overworked. Whatever. Get out of here. That guy, you know what? I could take you in the kitchen right now. I never use any dishes. She's texting me right now. Sorry, guys. Grimace, thanks so much for the 400 likes. Uh, 400 thumbs up. Um, she said she can't right now because she's in the bed and she's like, you know, doing things like, um, she's not dressed and probably, I don't know what she, she's doing, but it's all good. Uh, I told her she can view in. Oh, she said, can you FaceTime, can you you now from your laptop? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, Natalie's tuning in now. Okay, yay, we got her. All right, Natalie's tuning in, guys. 
sorry about that. I know that's rude to be on the phone and stuff. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, Grimace, I appreciate it. Hold on, let me get some water. But Natalie's gonna be on, guys. So y'all look out for her uh, her screen name. Y'all like y'all blow her up. Y'all be like, hey, Nat, 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 Nat. Gotta hydrate, gotta hydrate. Um, I I didn't get a haircut. I got like a little uh, I got like a little you know a trim or whatever, what you want to call it. So, oh yeah, happened 2001. To answer that question, I don't use any dishes in the house. Like I eat my food, I eat takeout, and I know Natalie's been telling me to stop, but I've started going to the gym so. I don't ever use dishes. Like, next time you, Jason says that, you'd be like, lies and deception because James never uses any dishes. I might use one plate in six months because I eat off of napkins, I eat off of a box, I eat off of uh, uh, whatever it came. That's me. I don't use dishes. What is a dish? The only time I'm going to use a dish is during Thanksgiving or maybe Christmas time or when I'm at somebody's house, you know? And I don't even like using dishes when I'm at somebody's house. Cause then I feel weird and awkward because I got to put it in the, in the sink and it's like you know when you're sitting there and you're in that awkward moment and you're eating dinner with family or friends or something and then you're done you don't even know what to do so you're like do I get up do I put the dish in the sink do I say can I excuse myself and then you feel bad because they're like let me get the plate for you and you're like no I, I, I'll do it so it's a mess I don't like dishes Oh, it says it's not letting me watch it. That's really sad. Hey, baby. What's up, babe? Nothing. What's up? Oh, um, I'm just. Fa I'm on you now, right now. I got uh, I got fans in the chat room. Really fans. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I, I, well, I'm not. I'm not gonna put you on blast like that, cause I was gonna. I was gonna turn it around so they can see you. Okay, hi. Okay, hold on. All right, now he's gonna say, "Hey guys, hold on, hold on." All right. Say I'm on it. Yeah, you're on there. Hi. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Hi, Nat. Hi, Nat. Oh my God, Natty." Yeah, I know. I was dying. I was like, she's really into that, that statue. Like, like. Go. She's so funny. All right, you're guys. Just you know, you're just you knowing right now. Yeah, I'm just yawning right now because I was gonna do the box. You know, um, I mean, the box has been. It's been. It's like you know, uh, Christmas present sitting on my my tree three or four weeks and it's been like every day I look at it I'm like man I really want to open that box but I gotta wait till Christmas yeah I can't wait for you to see what goods you have in store can I watch from FaceTime yeah you can watch from FaceTime it wouldn't let you log in on you now no it doesn't let me I got your picture and it doesn't let me see your you now it opens into the disguise with pairs hmm weird use you so oh now you just you just uh you know screen name and then yeah it should it's i just learned how to connect to wi-fi in different stores now because i didn't know you're supposed to connect to wi-fi yeah like you know when you go out and stuff yeah so now like now like i even connected to wi-fi at the grocery store and that was the first time i was really out of myself oh that i'm proud of you baby thanks sorry you can't do that while you're broken what am i doing Oh, hold on. Let me, um, I'll let you read some of the comments. I don't know if you can read it or not, but... No, I can't. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna switch back around. I thought you could read it, maybe. Um, yeah. Can I see your presents? 
Yeah. Oh, you want to see your? No, I'm just playing. Actually, Only... I had to. I had to lock. I had to shut the closet because I had a lot of your stuff in there. What's in there? Can I take a look at one? I had a bad day. I deserve to see them. No, I told you. <laughs> Oh, no, okay, let's look at your let's look at yours, babe. Let's look at your box. Okay. It's, this is a change show, not finale show. I'm just saying, you already know you're getting the boots. That's all I can show you. I'm I'm excited for those. And yes, America, these are justice. J U S T I N S. Justice. Look at those caps. My study have the sexiest legs in the world. <laughs> Steffi says you have sexy, beautiful legs. Your legs. That's from uh, picking up all those hay barrels. From hay bales. Okay, you don't pick up hay barrels. Hey, from, hey. Why do you have a gun on your waist? Oh, yeah, it's on. I I I had it on. I've had it on a lot. I've always wear it. I wear it all the time. Oh. Uh, okay, but I'm gonna go open my box now. I wanted to wait a little while because I know Big Brother over the top was on. I tweeted out. And it was like, Big Brother's on, wait, wait, wait. So I wanted to wait a while, but we're good. So, all right, guys, we're going to open up the box. And uh, I, I haven't, I don't know what's in there. So, expect the unexpected. Let's see. Where's my knife at? got to open it up. All right, babe. All right. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, Chloe said she is. Uh, I don't know. She she's got to go or something. Um, I might have scared her off. Colin, why I couldn't watch BB over the top? I'm so mad. Why couldn't you watch? Y'all can watch Big Brother over the top. Is it over? It's like 8:56. Hey, it's Mikael. Oh God, you are, you two are so cute. Where'd she go? Oh yeah, she, she had to talk to her other BF. Probably so. Um, all right, guys. I'm gonna go uh, hit the box and uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna go check that out. So if I can find my pocket knife, had it somewhere. Oh, here it is, on the floor. You gotta have your trusty pocket knife, you know. I'm really excited guys. You know this is like always the favorite time. Let me see if I can move the box up closer. I feel like I'm so far away. And by the way, I'm watching Ice Age. It's my most favorite movie in the world. Alright, here we go. Whoa, what's going on with all this stuff in here? What is all this? Yeah. Big Brother, Season 18 Showmaster DVDs, no bids. Hold on, what is this? Whoa! here hey I don't think big brother was supposed to send these I don't think big brother was supposed to send these this is did, did I, I didn't get this season 17 whoa check this out these are all the DVDs from season 18 I don't think the other house guests got these I think they accidentally put this in my box like when they were packing it or something right Look at all this. I didn't even get this season 17, and I don't. I don't think Natalie got any of this. Maybe it's because I got Final Three. Well, maybe only Final Three gets gets these. I don't know. Showmaster DVDs. Showmasters. I don't know. That is so weird. Did. Did Paul, did Paul get these? 
Only Final Three get gets it. Well, I mean, I don't remember. I don't remember Paul about these, you know. Hmm. But I got all the DVDs. Season 17, I never got any of these. But it, this looks like a binder, like Big Brother keeps or something, like like production or something. Maybe when they're packing up my box, they might have accidentally like laid it on top of there or something, right? I don't know. Or maybe, I, yeah. Giant Lung, you're CBS Golden Boys, so you got the hookup. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is a parting gift from CBS saying, you know what, James? You got shit on this season. You should have at least made it to Final Two, but we're going to hook you up with the grand prize. What's up, BB Princess? All right, well, guess what, big brother? If this was not supposed to go in the box, you ain't getting this back. This is mine. This is mine. You know why you ain't getting this back? Because it's my box. And it's going to disappear. So guess what, guys? Just, just for y'all tuning in, I got all these DVDs. I don't know if it was supposed to be in my box or not, but it's the complete season of Big Brother 18. Guess what? I don't have to order no on CBS All Access. Your boy doesn't have to do that because I got the whole collection in my hand. All right. I'm over that. But I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So because I mean, you know, normally you have to get Big Brother All Access and like pay for that stuff. Um, Colin, can we watch BB over the top without subscribing to All Access? I don't know. I don't know how that works, y'all. All right, I'm going in some more. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, okay, okay. I see what Jason did. Okay, if y'all, if you guys remember, I got Gizmo a collar that cost me twenty dollars. All right, because I wonder, I was like, well, where did Gizmo's collar go? Like, this little guy cost me twenty bucks for, for a freaking collar, and it's in my Big Brother bag. It's in the Big Brother box. It's right here. So now I got two of them. Man, if I would have just waited. That's why they say America, patience is a virtue. Patience is, is a virtue because I should have waited. I, and let's see, this is what I got right here. It's the Midwestern State. If I would have won another HOH, I would have got this shirt and I would have been repping it. So, for all you MSU fans out there at uh, Wichita Falls, Texas, all right, it says from Jason. Oh, y'all remember this from season 17, right? It was a squirrel. No, this was from um, uh, The Bold and the Beautiful. He sent me a black ski mask. Got the, the BB hat. Uh, I don't remember which, this will be going on eBay, guys. These shorts, I don't remember what they were for. I think they were for, oh, I remember. They were the, uh, um, man, it's the veto competition. Oh, whoa, what's going on? All I see is a bunch of things blowing up all over the screen. Holy crap. I don't even know what that is, but thanks, uh, whoever that is. Holy crap. She's making it rain in here. Um... Crash comic books. Grimace, you're the man, Bo. How's that rig doing? Hey, if y'all don't know, Grimace, uh, he's donated a lot to Bullies Reality. I appreciate that, buddy. Tim, uh, Tim and them, um, they got your donation the other day. Whoa. Let's see what we got going on. Got a letter from Linda. I don't know if it's in here or not. Man, I really miss Natalie. I know she uh, she had to go, but it really sucks. 
Linda says, hey James, how are you doing? Hope all is well with you. Me, same old. Just going to school and working. Just want to tell you how proud I am of you and hope to see you soon. How's Gizmo? Well, love you and talk to you soon. Love your big sis. Sister. Cast photos. All right, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. That's what I really like. I like cast photos. Let's see. Let's see how I look this season. Sun's out, guns out. Whoa, Grimace. Holy crap, buddy. Grimace over here making it rain. Okay, let me show you how to cast photo. Thanks, Grimace. All right. I hope I didn't get a spin. I say, guys, out of everything that Big Brother, this is the most thing that I cherish the most because, you know, everything else is kind of hard to display because it's like, you know, a clothes or a shirt. But this right here, thank you, Roland, for the, for the applause. Grimace 306, no problem. Kimberly S., hi. I want that pick. You want this pick? Can't give it to you. I love it. It's the only thing I really keep in, uh, in, in the Captain Camo things. All right, so I got my other cast photo. This is from season 17. This is from season 18, so it's awesome. That's the best thing right here. I like this, my key, and there's probably one other thing in there that I really like. Let's see what else we got in here. I know y'all guys got good thing, better things to do than watch me dig through a box. Why? Why? Why, big brother? Why would you send me these shoes? I don't want them. I don't want these shoes. They give me these old, dirty shoes that I I, I won in comps, or I, you know, I, went, I played in a comp and it got all disgusting. They set my boat shoes. Look at that. I remember this one. This is the uh, final three comp shoes right here because I was dressed as a freaking cat. This is the one that I lost to Paul when I should have won. I should have won that competition and I should have won. I should have freaking won that one. But you know what? I think my rope was just... Oh, that's another thing. Do y'all realize... Let's move this up. Do y'all remember in the competition there was a there was a uh, um, when we were doing the cat comp and we were all dressed like cats, all the ropes were like boom, boom, and then my rope was like this. No, hold on, my rope was like this. Paul's rope was right here. Nicole's rope was right here. Paul's rope was right here. I was up here. Why? Why? Paul and Nicole, we are all the same all the same height. If anything, if anything, Nicole and Paul are taller than me by just a smith. So it's like Paul rope, my rope. Oh no, Paul's rope, Nicole's rope, and then my rope was like this. So I had to literally reach way higher to get my rope. And I was, it was nuts. I was complaining about it all night. I'm not saying they meant to do it on purpose. I'm not saying the game was rigged. I'm not saying they cheated me. I'm just saying I would have felt a little better losing that competition because I lost it on that rope that, you know. Anyways, moving on. Let's see, what is this? Key and bag tag. All right, this is, this is the other thing that, uh, this is the other thing that I cherish the most. All right, guys, this key has only been touched one time the whole season by Victor. Victor's the only one that was able to get their hands on this key. Mm. Last season, everybody was touching my key. Liz, Vanessa, Liz, Vanessa, everybody had my key in that box. This one time, because I was I was 
dodging bullets, man. I was like in the matrix. I was like, every time somebody won an HOH, I was like, whoa, whoa. I was just, I was dodging them, you know? Y'all call it what y'all want, but I call it strategy. I call it strategy. All right. We're going to skip to the schematics. Uh, finally, they sent me a freaking big brother towel. It's about time. It's about time. So I finally got my big brother towel. Last year, I didn't get it. I don't know why. And it's Clemson color. This is why I got it. So for all you Clemson fans out there, I know we took a loss week 11 or week 12, but this is for uh, redemption. Go Tigers. Actually, I got this too because it's Clemson. It's an orange bow tie. So when you're in a South Carolina state and you're repping Clemson, all the frat boys and all the guys, they wear Clemson. Orange colors. Oh, oh, oh. This right here, this is the comp that I had nerve trauma for two to three weeks. I don't even remember how much it was, but um, watch your dubstep. This is uh, what I had, a little stick that was in the box, and I had this tied around my wrist. I had my hand up for five and a half hours. Yeah, I'd never want to do that again. It's the last time you can catch me raise my hand up for five and a half hours. I'm just playing. They put a half a million dollars in my face. Oh, look at this. You know who gave me these? Natalie. Natalie, if you're watching this, I still got them. The unicorn stickers. The unicorn stickers. I got them. Unicorns. I was missing my ties. I thought, oh, you know what, America? I was so sad because I thought I lost my ties. I thought someone took these. These are my favorite ties. And like, I like this one because it's breast cancer, it supports breast cancer. And this one just because it's a, it's a badass tie. So, wow. Man, I, I was gonna have to go buy another two ties. And I like these ties because they already got the knots tied in them so I don't have to do anything. So I'll just hang these up. Got those back. Oh, they gave us one of those little gigapads things look oh, the batteries are dead guys the batteries are dead oh my god he is a redneck Asian who said that who said that B F S A T golf no B F sat golf one oh my god he's a redneck Asian yep you're staring at him in the flesh can I have the bag tag uh, Victoria West T X O oh you're from Texas that's what I think it's from right you're from Texas Brother Airlines. Oh, a lot of this stuff's closed. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, buddy. Going like a big shot. Boom. This is it. It's my favorite one. That's what I like to get. I get this with the key and a cast photo. Colonel Camo. Okay. So now, look at this, your boy, you remember this one from last season, season 17, Colonel Camo, that's where I got a promotion, because I was a captain, I was a captain, but I got promoted, Colonel Camo, we set these up right here, I like them, just like, really cool freaking cool it's amazing you see anything else in here a lot of clothes oh man this BB weather suit is amazing dude this jacket I'm gonna wear the mess out of this jacket look at that look how cool this jacket is this is the one where we got rain on the BB weather love it don't worry you know what this is going on eBay too. You know what? I'm going to let this one go too. eBay. You want it? You can have it. I really don't want to get rid of it, but it's a pretty sweet jacket actually. Hmm. Anything else? Key and tag bag. 
stuff. Oh. BB Prex. This is the one. This is the day's competition. This is the one I crapped out on. Didn't know. That's what happens when you don't study. What is this? Oh, that's a clock from the Vito Comp. Some more shoes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good stuff. Oh, 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 what is this? What is this? Yes, I got my water bottle. Got my water bottle. I appreciate that, big brother. Good looking out. Zingbot for president. Button cap. Definitely going on eBay. Hmm. This is uh, from the competition, the nose arcs. Candy cane. This is the one I got like almost one, maybe. I don't know. I would have got the second one right. Oh man, this was a bad day. Bad day. Everything else in here is mainly clothes, guys, and I know y'all don't want me to sit here and pick out like clothes all day long on you guys. You know, like this uh, this jacket. This is the one we had to strip on, and it was uh, Adam Levine collection jumpsuit. It's a cool button, though. I like that. But that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I didn't host in a lot of competitions. Uh, I was mainly losing them. So there's a difference. Yeah, let's see. Man, that's a lot of that's a lot of clothes in here. Pretty freaking sweet jacket. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Y'all like this jacket? Y'all think this? I like this jacket. Y'all think? Y'all like this jacket? Y'all think this jacket's pretty hood? Oh, okay. Here we go. Navy wife, how's how how are Bree Lane and Bailey doing? Bree Bree Lane and Bailey are doing good. I FaceTimed them today. They're actually painting the house. Brianna, she's always mad because you know she's painting the house. The kids are um, it looks probably nuts. You know they're painting the whole house. I feel sorry, and it's just it's uh it's rough. It's rough out on them streets. And um, Bailey's good. She's already talking about uh, Christmas. Well, she's talking about a birthday because she's like, I want, uh, she wants to get like play stuff. And she was like, hey, can I get Play-Doh for my birthday? And I'm like, yeah, you can, but Christmas is around the corner. Why would you want to wait like six months to get Play-Doh when you can get it in a month? It's like, just make out a Christmas list. And um, <laughs> I said, I'll see what Santa Claus can do. I'll put in that request for you in the diary. You got to go to the diary room and put in that request. Um... Where's the friendship bracelet that Nat and Jason found in the backyard? I don't know. I haven't got it yet. I thought they was going to put it on there, but maybe not. I, I haven't seen it yet. So, um, Anthony Allen W. Hi, I'm a big fan. I watched you on Big Brother 18, and I always thought you and Natalie were a great couple. Well, I appreciate that, Anthony. Um, you know, me and Natalie are we're definitely a unique and one of a kind. I'll tell you how that. Um, but it works out and uh, she she means the world to me so hopefully you know down the road you know we can um, you know that relationship can blossom even more uh, I'm truly happy for you that you and Natalie found love on BB I know I'm gonna try to tell you guys that I'm trying to tell you guys that on the live feeds when everybody in there is like 
man, he's in there for a showmance. He's in there chasing Natalie around, and like he, he's got his eye off the prize. No, I had my eye on the prize the whole time, the whole time. Like, listen, if I win a half a million dollars. It's amazing, but if I lose, I'm gonna lose a half a million. And I could possibly lose the girl of my dreams, and I don't want to do that. Okay, because the relationship and love in my eyes is way more important than any amount of dollar figure because you can spend the rest of your life with this person and money money comes and goes money will come and go you can spend a half a million dollars and then you can be broken alone just remember that guys remember that um cindy manual five preach that's what i'm saying you know what i'm saying half a million dollars yes don't get me wrong it sounds great and it's good I love it. I would love to have a half a dollar. You know, Bailey would love to have a half a million dollars. But a half a million dollars you can't take with you if you pass away tomorrow. Or um, a half a million dollars might not have been a good decision if I had to backstab Natalie, betray her trust, and went on the outside. Who knows what would have happened? So I wasn't taking no risk. I'm just saying. And I would rather be humble and kind and be stay true to who I am in the big brother house and keep that trust with Natalie then over a million dollars like money comes and goes guys and um, I just I'm not worried about it and hey me and Natalie we're, we're doing good and we're stronger than ever we're in a relationship so it was worth it so I all you all the people out there that says that you know I was chasing Natalie probably right not gonna not gonna deny it but I was doing it for a good reason, guys. Oh, sorry. Natalie's here. Whoa, what's up, babe? We were just talking about you. Good things. You like my jacket? You like my sweats? Huh? Cool? Whoa. 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 Cat or money bags? <laughs> yeah. How about the money bags? No, I don't want to guess. I don't want to guess. Hee hee, I'm in bed. Yeah, she, she's in bed, guys. Um, let, let Natalie be a little princess and, and be in the bed. As long as we got her in the chat room, that's all that matters. Hmm. Ah, let's see. Best part of being on... Oh, David S. says, Do your crocs still smell like cinnamon? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. We're about to find that out. Got the Crocs right here, guys. Oh, Natalie, guess what? You can't touch these. You can't touch us because we're Crocs and we're crocodiles and you can't get us because we're safe. We're safe from Natalie. That's right, Crocs. Y'all are safe. You're safe with me. You know why? Because Natalie can't get you. No, they don't smell like cinnamon. They don't smell like cinnamon. They smell like plastic. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Do Rob Dark says, do you or Nat ever talk to Nakori? Oh, oh, with the hard hitting questions up in here tonight. Dang, someone's trying to. Why y'all go? Why y'all gonna put a brother on the spot? Why y'all gonna put a brother on the spot? I don't understand. Um, well, to answer that question, you know, since Donald, oh, since Donald Trump became our 45th president, I have the right to my fifth amendment i don't even know what that is i think it's fifth amendment so yeah i'm a fifth amendment that i plead a fifth on that but listen everybody in that house that house brings out the worst in everybody i don't care who you are um you know if it's just a bunch of people in there playing for half a million dollars and they're gonna do whatever it takes they're gonna backstab you they're gonna lie to you they go they gonna say the worst things about you so I'm just saying you know um, good night babe good night I think she's leaving she's out of here James production made you um, won't give any stuff to each other did Nicole give you 10k no, why would Nicole give me 10K? 
No, she didn't give me any money, guys. How did Jason feel about you telling the live feeder he pees on the floor? Well, I mean, you know, sometimes the truth hurts, America. Sometimes the truth hurts. And I just felt like it was something that, you know, um, America needed to know. Uh, Jason's a savage, and sometimes he can he can uh, go back to his his kid roots, and he needs to change. You know, um, he's doing a lot better. I give him that. I give him credit. He's doing better, but um, he's he's got to work on that. Let's see. <clears throat> Renee J, when are you moving closer to each other? Um, I, I don't know, guys. Uh, don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see in the future. You know, we'll see what happens. James Brown. Sometimes the truth hurts. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth, James? James Brown. Wow, that's an interesting name. Ain't that like that singer guy, James Brown? Would you be on any other reality shows? Uh, yeah. I, I mean. Yeah, of course I would. I mean, you know, I love uh, playing the games, and I love meeting new people and going through new experiences. And, of course, if there's a chance to win money at the end, why not? You know, it's uh, it's a chance of a lifetime. It's kind of like saying, would you guys buy five lottery tickets if one of them had a million dollars on them? Of course I would. Um, Marco Kuz, uh, what's up? I hope I didn't destroy your name. So, uh, yeah, don't get mad. Grimace, 306. Yes, right there, brother. Right there. Uh, no, if if I was to have a, um, a show of my choice, I would definitely have to say I would love to go on Amazing Race with Natalie, of course. And if it was by myself, I would love to take a shot at Survivor. Um, Survivor, I think, is one of the toughest uh, physical shows ever, and I want to see how far I can push my body to the limit. I've, I've done that maybe once or twice in the military, but I would love to do it again. Plus, I would lose a lot of weight, so, you know. But if I lose any more weight, if I lose, if I lose 15 pounds, I might disappear. Um, yes, you would kill it on Survivor. You would slay Survivor. Yeah, because I feel like Survivor is... Survivor's like Big Brother, you know? It's like the social game aspect of it, but then also... I mean, yes, you gotta win comps, but... Um, I don't know. I get along with everybody, mainly. Like, I, I'm a real... Y'all see me on two seasons. I can pretty much get along with anybody, but... I do know I need to win some competition, guys, okay? Alright, next. If I ever get back on another reality show, I will show you that I'll go in more aggressive this time and uh, win more competitions even if it gets me thrown out of the, uh, thrown out of the game just to show you guys I can't attack um, let's see Miss Tucker thanks so much Neil James is Nat still mad about the roach prank <laughs> no Nat Natty, Natty is def definitely not still mad about the roach prank um, if anything, she's probably plotting on me again to uh, try to get me back. So, yeah. Lisa Nova, no more throwing comps. Yes, no more throwing comps, but, I mean, what's... I might have to throw a few, but I'm not... I promise y'all I'm not going to throw as much as I did this season. Um, what do you think about Survivor this season so far? I'm pulling for Gen X, Gen Xers myself. Uh... I haven't, I haven't uh, been able to watch Survivor, and I'll be honest with you, the only TV I've been watching is Ice Age, um, Chipmunks, you know, stuff like that, uh, movies that I caught up, because I, I just, I don't have time to, it's like when you commit, you're going to have to commit to the whole show, you can't just watch two episodes and then, you know, skip out on half the season and then catch the end, like, I want to watch it all the way through, and unfortunately I don't have that, uh, you know, luxury to sit and do that, so, um, I haven't, haven't, you know, done that yet, um, <laughs> yeah, would you ever play Big Brother over the top, you know what, 
I feel like I would have done a lot better on Big Brother over the top than I would have done on season 18. I know, to be honest, I might, I feel like I might have won this season. If I was on Big Brother over the top, I think I would have won. Um, because I get along with everybody in the house. That group of people that's in there now, uh, you know, it's, and plus there's not 16 house guests. I mean, uh, so I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? My gameplay from season 18 if I would have done the same thing on Big Brother over the top, do you think I would have made it far in the game, or do you think I would have been kicked out for early on the show? Like, you know, y'all can be honest. I mean, if I if y'all think that I would like get kicked out week two or one, then yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Hey, what's up guys what's up I'm back I'm back sorry about that I don't know what happened my computer just went like nuts like it just cut off I don't know what happened um, so yeah I, I came back let me see if I can get something to sit on man I'm like standing on my knees right now on my knees it hurts because I'm like old Ooh. let me check those out ain't those freaking cool man sit on something maybe you know hey yeah let me sit on this suitcase this is like legit right here so i can talk to you guys oh much better just getting close in debt i feel like it's, it's really cold in my house guys in the apartment just so you guys know it's like brr, freezing See if I can straighten that out a little bit. Oh God, don't don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, yeah, I gotta get me a legit desk, guys. I know that. Um, Grimace, I appreciate it, buddy. Hey, I think I seen um uh, Steve. Is Steve in here? Is uh Steve in here? I don't know. McKenna gave 50 likes. McKenna, I appreciate it. Um, get the only one luggage chair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you can turn. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is why I need to be on Survivor. I don't look at things in that aspect of I need to sit somewhere so I go get a chair. I'll pull up. I'll look at anything in the room to sit on. And it just happened to be a suitcase. So you got to improvise. And when you're on Survivor, that's what happens. That's what's got to go down. What's up, Geek Squad McGee? My boy Steve's in here. Tell him how it is. And uh, Steve will tell you that me and Steve, we had a very similar strategy going into the game. Season 17, season 18. Tell him, Steve.
Um, do you regret who you took to the end on BB? Caden, you know what? I'll be honest with you. Yes, I do. Um, that right there, you know, uh, that, that's actually a good question that y'all asked because if I would have taken Corey and gotten rid of Nicole, I think that I might have been in final two, if anything, if not won the game. I think me taking Nicole cost me the game. And I, I'm a man to admit that. I'm a man to admit that. Because Corey, we were bros, and we were going to bro it out. That was my bro. Corey, Corey was going to, uh, he was going to take me regardless of what happened. And I think if, I think if Corey would have been up against me, if Paul would have won everything, I think that Paul would have taken me to the end. So, uh... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'd admit that. As a man, I'd admit it. I think that all that gameplay was good, you know, but at the end, I should have taken Corey. And uh, I paid for it in the end. So, but uh, y'all need to uh, follow my boy, Tyler Farr. Um, he's a country singer, and I uh, hit him up on Twitter, and he just got back to me. He's actually on my Twitter. Uh, he's actually doing reality TV. Big supporter of him. I love his country music. And, you know, he's, you know, I'm just saying. Thank you, love country is butt off. You rock, man. See, my boy Tyler Farr right here giving me love on Twitter. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. Tyler Farr. There he is right there, guys. Said I, if I, I was if I was to bet, I'd say it'll make you laugh your country Asian butt off. You rock, man, Tyler Farr. Y'all go anybody that knows country music knows Tyler Farr, okay? That's my boy, and I'm gonna support him, and I'm gonna watch his show because he's got a reality show coming out. Just saying. Love Tyler Farr. There you go. Look him up on YouTube. Uh, you know, and, and matter of fact, if you go to his Twitter page, he was hanging out with some of my greatest, like, Tyler Farr is a man, dude. Like, hold on. I'll show you. Um, this guy was just hanging out with Kelsey Ballerina. Okay? Kelsey Ballerina. I listen to her in my truck. I listen to Tyler Farr in my truck. Let's see who else he hates. I mean, he's just, he's a good guy, man. He, you know, like, he was in Knoxville. Man, this guy's awesome. He's amazing, man. Anyways, Tyler Farr, if you're watching this, man, you rock, buddy. Um, I'm going to shoot you a text in a minute, and uh, we can catch up. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh what happened with you and that after the finale? Uh, what do you mean? Like, like you know, you got to specify. Uh, where are you working these days? Right now I'm doing uh, bully reality work. Um, I'm doing uh, some pretty much, it's like for their organization. And I'm working with them at the moment. Oh, man. Jacket looks, I look, look like I got a pud right there, but I don't. I got two jackets on, guys. I don't. Um, but yeah, I'm working with Bullies Reality. Uh, you know that thing that y'all seen with the school tours? Um, we're going to be, I'm going to be doing like personal stuff. It's, it's pretty much like assistant work for their organization. And, uh, I'm doing that right now. And that way I don't have to commit to a full-time job, but also I get some type of income coming in and, um, I can talk to you guys all the time. So boom, it works. It's like working from home. Uh, don't listen to Tap. He's a troll. I didn't even see what, what Tap said, so whoever that guy is, if he says something negative, we have nothing but positive vibes up in this room, homie. All right. What's the best thing that came out of BB besides Nat? Natalie. Um, great organization, Cindy. I appreciate it. Oh, and thank you. Thank you guys for donating to 
get Operation Relief to Venezuela. You know, y'all, the amazing response y'all had on that was amazing. Um, I just, it's just, it was huge, guys. So, I came to, uh, and actually, I got to figure out how to get the funds out of there because, I mean, I've never really done it, uh, a GoFundMe type thing like so I'll have to figure out that I know they were saying something about you now takes a certain percent and like I have to name a beneficiary for tax purposes or something I don't know what the heck's going on all I know is that we hit our goal and uh, next time I see Natalie I need to make sure I can get the money to her or however whatever I don't know how it's gonna work so um, if you guys have any information about you now about how they take the money because um, I know they take a percentage of everything that they make. So, um, a matter of fact, I got the email. Let me see what it says. Um, the email was... Uh, hmm. Bear with me, guys. Go fund me, I meant, yeah. Okay, here we go. Fund me. I know you guys don't. So, so um, I want to keep y'all in the loop too because this is your money as well. Y'all donated, so y'all need to know. Y'all need to be in the loop with this. Oh, hey, it's jacket, bro. I like it, but all right. This is the email that I got. It's from uh, uh, GoFundMe. GoFundMe automatically deducts five percent fee from each donation you receive. In addition, our payment processor, WePay, charges 2.9% plus uh, 0.30 per donation. In total, you will be charged 7.9% plus 0.30 per donation. If you receive a donation of $100, you only get $91.80. So this sucks. Um, of course, you never get anything. You know, people always want to like. I mean, it's charity. This is like donations for Venezuela. I I don't agree with that, but, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. This is, uh, wow. GoFundMe takes out 5% out of that $5,500. So they said they're going to take $275 out of that. And then WePay takes out 3% plus 0.30, so that's $183. And then um, balance available. Oh, total fees, $500. So they're taking $500 of y'all's hard-earned money that we were trying to get it there. And they're, they're taking $500 out of it. So I should have, but you know what? I mean, it's still, we still raised a good amount. I just, that $500 could have went to something else. I don't know, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, Anthony Allen, it's no big deal, buddy. Um, Bailey F., I'm sending that a letter to the Bullies Reality Foundation. Can you please make sure she gets it? Yes. Bailey, if you send it to her P.O. box, she will definitely get it. Um, I was told not to say this, but if you have anything, um, make sure you send it to her P.O. box. Because I don't have one. I need to get one, which I'm probably going to get one. So Natalie's not, you know, killed with all the fan mail. And um, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I think Kickstarter was... Yeah, Kickstarter was probably cheaper. I didn't look into it uh, enough. All I know is that, you know, um, GoFundMe, they, I didn't realize they charge that much. I mean, they take $500 out of it. Like, and then I, I don't even know. Is that just like... Is it taxed? I don't know. Is it taxed by the IRS too? I mean, um, Jay, what are your and Nat's plans for Christmas and New Year's? Um, I'm hang hanging out with Natalie's family for Christmas. Her own Gary, Chrissy, Katie, uh, just her whole family. So um, I'm going to be hanging out with them uh, for Christmas, guys. So it'll be a Jadley reunion, and I can't freaking wait. Um, James, what part of you, uh, what part is your family from Pennsylvania, northeast part here? They're from uh, Altoona, Harrisburg, Altoona, Harrisburg, Hersey Town, and Lancaster, I think. So yeah, guys, 
Uh, yeah, they're from all around. Let's see. Oh, somebody asked me, was I going to the uh, to the game, uh, November twenty seventh? I am, and I scheduled uh, my flight already. I booked my flight, so that's already booked, and I'm gonna be staying with Natalie for like a week. So I get to hang out with Natalie for a whole week. Uh, Susan K, uh, I'm gonna be doing Thanksgiving with Bailey, and I've already told Bailey and Landon um, that I'm going to be spending time with them. Uh, for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be spending Christmas with Natalie's family, but uh, Bailey and Landon still will receive their Christmas presents. So it's sharing is caring, and Bailey is very accepting of that because Bailey loves Natalie, like she freaking loves her. So um, it's a it's a good thing. Matter of fact, when I was FaceTiming her, she asked me six times, "Where's Natalie?" I'm like, "Natalie is in New Jersey." Okay, uh, let's see. James, I freaking love you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Uh, you're awesome, Amelia. You know, and thank you for, uh, yeah, thanks for tipping me a thousand bars. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, you're awesome, but it's not required, guys. I don't have, I don't have to do that. I'm just saying. Well, I appreciate it, but. Um, but yeah, right now, guys, uh, to answer the, the top main questions, Bailey and Landon are doing good. I just FaceTimed them probably about two hours ago. Um, they're repainting the whole house, and Bailey wants Play-Doh for her birthday, and I told her, like, why would you want to get Play-Doh when Christmas is right around the corner? Uh, so she was like, oh, yeah. So I'm going um, to, <laughs> Crystal proposed. Um, I would, but, you know, I'm taking, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I told her, I was like, why would you Why would you want to wait six months when you can get Play-Doh uh, next month for uh, Christmas? So, not next month. Yeah, next month. Um, so she, she was like, it was so cute because she was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, Christmas. So um, thanks, Christmas, man. And appreciate that, buddy. So, yeah, uh, and Landon, uh, he, he uh, broke his, I bought him an airsoft gun. Dog chewed it up, so he's probably and I'm like, hey, please, for the love of God, don't let that dog chew this one up. Uh, they let 4475B5. Thanks so much for 50 likes. And um, yeah, oh yeah, and then I explained to him, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to be, I'm gonna try to make it down there for Thanksgiving. Um, flight tickets right now are like $1,900 uh, for the holidays because I didn't do it in like 30 days in advance. It's the holidays, so if I got a ticket, it's $1,900, so it looks like I'm going to have to rent a cheap car and drive my happy butt down there, um, 17 hours there, spend, uh, spend you know, a week or so down there, and then come back, uh, and then come back. I just, like, whew, man, $1,900 for an airline ticket, y'all uh, like, uh, kill me. Um, let's see. Take a bus. I I could take a bus, actually. I really could take a bus. I didn't even think about that. A bus would actually be cheaper. Actually, yeah, it would. Let me check into that. Thanks for that advice. I uh, know I'd be... I'll just make sure I have my cell phone and then a GoPro cam because I'm going to be bored. Uh, Marine 49, nice jacket. I appreciate it. Jay, remember last year I told you, if you were to get on BB again, do not obsess over another girl. Splash that monkey. Splash that monkey. Chill. Just chill, man. All right? Nally, that's my girl. That's my lady, man. Talking about my lady now, okay? Just chill. She's not just a girl. Um, bus takes too long. Susan K, I know, a bus does take too long. And actually, it'll, I'll probably be on that damn bus for like, it, it takes me in a car, my truck, about 19 to 20 hours to get there. And, um, you know, I got I make pit stops. I stop and I sleep at rest stations for a little while and then I take off. But, um, I don't know. I just, honestly, guys, I'll be honest with you. I hate, I hate making that drive. I've done it twice. And it sucks. Like, 20 hours behind a steering wheel in a big-ass truck sucks. Like, like I like driving and stuff. I need to get me a little zippy car. I need to get, like, 
a Nissan Altima or something, something really good on the road that can just cruise at 80. My truck that I got now, it's like, and it's just like all over the road. I'm like, oh God, you know, so it's, you know, yeah, I need to FedEx myself. Can I do that? Can I just do like an overnight FedEx and um, use the bathroom before I go and have like s snacks in there or something like Slim Jims and bottle of water? Uh, Marcos, just fly there. Yeah, I would. But all the airline tickets are $1,900 minimums for one seat, and that's in coach. Y'all can look it up. It's expensive. Um, well, there goes $10 off gas. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, think of the flip side. You don't have to walk. That's very true. It's very true. Teleporting would be awesome if it was possible. Man, if teleporting, yeah. Thank you, Susan K. Flights during the holidays are very expensive. I don't know why, but Amer the, the airlines love to capitalize on the dang holidays when they should be helping a brother out. Uh, I live in Wichita Falls, Texas, guys. Wichita Falls, Texas. So that's a, that's a long way to drive. I pretty much drive halfway across the country. And uh, my truck's already got about 168,000 miles on it, and it's just, I can't put any more strain on that truck, because the truck's got to last me for a little while. Your boy's a peasant, you know, he's a peasant. So, uh, I need to get me like a small car, like a, like a Toyota Corolla, or a, like a Kia, or a smart car or something. I did 21 hours on Amtrak, long ride, food sucks. Yeah, exactly, 21 hours, I'd die. Uh, you need to live closer than that on the East Coast. Yeah, I know, right? That would be pretty cool, but, um, oh man, it's Texas, man. It's like, Jesus. Which, like I said, I talked to Natalie about it, and I talked to everybody else about it. There's really nothing to hold me here in Texas. I mean, my boy, my best, my, my best guy friend, Jason, and my um, my best friend Tim, but those are really it. So, I mean, moved down here to get in the oil rig fields, but oh, heck, oil is so cheap right now; it's not doing anything. So, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think they have Amtrak down in Wichita Falls I think I would have to like travel somewhere to get there and I don't know if it'll go all the way through um, so it would probably be better off just renting a small economy car and then um, just driving you know so C Young 555 Jason is out well I think it's time to get a new vehicle Subaru yeah I do need to get a Subi um Yep, Tim, Tim, yep, you're right, RB Dark. Desiree Jane is here. What's up, Desiree? I see you creeping in my room. Um, <laughs> she's like, James. Uh, Navy wife, move to Tennessee. My hubby will get you on a UPS. Hey, it's a thought if you're ever interested. Oh, uh, yeah, UPS is good. I, I could have worked here down here at UPS. So... Marine 49 says Jason just fell off this fell off his post. Yeah, he probably did. There are BB alumni in New York City and Jersey. Why not grab an apartment with them? Ryan R. Yeah, I, I you know what? I would do that, but I just don't know where I would work in New York City. I mean, New York City is just it's it's a whole different culture shock. Like New York, um I, I just wouldn't know what to do or where to start, you know. I would I mean, that's, it's like throwing an alligator into the Amazon. No, hold on, let me bet, let me think of a better reference. That's like throwing a polar bear into Africa. You get my drift? You catch my drift? Yeah, I could model for Gap Kids. I think I could get away with that. What's up, Jess Larson? You and that can do it. I love you so much, James. Thank you so much. 
what's up with that possible CBS job you were talking about while you were in Texas? I can't go there. I can't work for CBS. You know why I can't work for CBS? Because if I work for CBS, I can never get back on a CBS show again because I work for CBS. Do I want to do that? No. I thought about that. It's something I can't do, guys. So that's out of the question for me. Um... You apply for Survivor. Uh, I don't think you apply for Survivor. I think you just get on there. I think they just, if they want you, because the CBS knows, they know, CBS knows I want to be on Survivor. There's, I mean, they know that. I've said it like a million times. So if they want me, I know they, they got my number. Uh, yeah, and that's another thing, JSF. James, how well do you like guns? Check the laws in New York and New Jersey. I don't think you're going to have guns in New York and New Jersey unless you jump your 6,000 hoops so Texas has open carry laws and everybody in Texas is packing everybody has a gun everybody's got shotguns and you can drive down the road go in the woods put your truck in four-wheel drive kick it in four-wheel drive I meant sorry about that and you can go shooting you can go shoot skeet you go duck hunt you can go do this but in New Jersey I'm going to be a country boy in a city boys world which I don't care. I'll do it for Natalie. I'll do it, you know. I just got to make sure that, you know. It, I mean, we just started dating, guys, you know. She's... <laughs> Nat acted like she didn't know you had a gun. <laughs> no, um, she's just not, you know, she's not used to uh, people having guns. And I don't think she really likes that too much. Um, but it's just... It's something that, you know, I just like to express and um, exercise my constitutional rights. Um, and I like to bear arms. And I'm from Texas, and guns are just second nature to us, you know. Um, Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and stuff are second nature to New Yorkers and uh, hipsters and... Um, Nordstrom and stuff that's like their stuff you know and that's that's their culture and I like that and I think that's awesome and amazing but you know if y'all from the south y'all from Texas y'all from South Carolina North Carolina Florida I don't know too much about Florida y'all know that once you get to a certain age you know your dad your papa somebody put a shotgun in your hand and taught you how to shoot so but yeah once she gets I if I take her if I take her to a range she'll love it She'll love it, man. It's just, yeah, Louisiana, even in Louisiana, you know. Uh, are you going to many any more reality shows? Um, I don't. Yeah, if I get invited to one, yeah, sure, why not? Oklahoma, there you go. We got Oklahoma in here. She will get used to it. So, I need to know where you guys are from. We got a lot of people in here. I like to know what states y'all are from. Wendy M. That's who I'm thinking it is. Oh, gotta go to work. I've been listening to you. Go to work now. Got to go to work. Wendy uh, Mo, uh, have be safe at work. She works for the Wichita County Sheriff's. Um, she is at the jailhouse. So, and she does. She's a big Jally fan as well. Big Big Brother fan. Uh, and she's done a lot of lot of work for uh, for Bully Reality. She uh, I know she came out there and helped out. Those pictures behind the wall, she hooked us up with those too. So I appreciate that, Wendy. And she, uh, she's, she's amazing. So, and she's right here in Wichita Falls. So, Kathy, Phoenix, Arizona, Florida. Jimmy S is from Nebraska. Um, Scranton, PA. Wow, we got a lot of people in here. Quad silly cities. J Man, J Man, hey, J Man, you're awesome, Bo. Uh, J-Man talks, I know he's like really, really good friends with Jason, him and Jason keep in contact all the time, I always see him messaging each other, so I think that's awesome, J-Man, you the man, um, Maryland, Jackson, MS, Houston, Texas, representing West Virginia, Chicago, Iowa, wow, whoa, we are all over the place, um, Marine 49 says, Orlando, Florida, Holy crap. North Carolina. Uh-oh, we got some Cali folks in here. 
Whoop, whoop. Shout out to Toronto. Yeah, Canada, man. Y'all need to get us hooked up with some nightclubs in Canada because I got my passport. Like, we want to go out. Me and Allie want to go out and do some things. So anybody from Canada in this room, if you know any people that are in the bar scene or in the club, you know any bar owners in Toronto or um, in Canada, you talk to them for me, and then you get them in contact with me, have them message me, and we'll set something up. Grimace 306, I'm from wherever I park my truck for the night. Yes, I understand that. My dad used to be a truck driver, so he used to drive a, uh, a Kenworth. Was it a Kenworth? Yeah, he drove a Kenworth, and um, he drove for, I think he drove for Schneider one, one season, one year, a couple years. And, um, yeah, my dad used to take me on uh, truck driving roads, and uh, thanks, James. I appreciate it. He used to take me from... Um, on truck driving like to go out when he worked so and um i used to have fun and i enjoyed it you know going as a kid he used to take me so i had a i had a real real good time so uh i learned a lot about truck driving life thanks jason is an awesome guy jay man you're an awesome guy man this guy right here anytime we need any internet flyers any um like uh, promotional stuff so we we can push it out content this guy's on top of it he always hooks us up and uh, I appreciate that. You should come to New Orleans and hook up and do an event with Victor. Neil, Jason Rocks. How much do you miss Nat right now? I miss Natalie a lot, guys. You already know that. I mean, no question, no doubt about it. I'm crazy about the girl, so uh side up fell down 60794 you're the best i appreciate it desiree jane james i'm so proud of how far you made it this season you're the real winner though you got natalie i love y'all together i appreciate that desiree kenzie kardashian hey 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 ddy kenzie kardashian hey ddy what's that what is that guys what's ddy mean What's uh, DDY means? I don't know. DDY. Kenzie. Natalie misses you. Melvin. Ryan. Classy. Moving. Helping out our family in Venezuela, man. Happy to support the cause. I appreciate it. Oh, daddy. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, oh, pump the brakes there. <laughs> um, yeah, I appreciate that, guys. I, I, uh, I, I got the, uh, I got the memo. Uh, it me daddy okay um I, I appreciate that kenzie i know you meant that in a friendly way um uh, you know i don't want all right Lindsay, Lindsay dizzle uh that's what it means i appreciate it um yeah but uh grimace when i was telling you man like my dad took me out on truck driving runs we went all across america um and I enjoyed it. You know, when he was on the road, I kept him company. I slept in the back bed of the truck. And then whenever, you know, he was sleepy, I'd get up and keep him company. And we'd go to truck stops. He'd pull over, we'd pass out. And, and um, you know, it was fun. You know, I'd listen to the radio, talk on the CB. Like, I learned how to talk on the That's where I learned how to talk on the CB. I was like, breaker, breaker, one, nine. This is, uh, I don't know. This is, uh. I don't know a call sign, but I got the gist of it. So I was, I was talking like, you know, like a trucker. And that's probably where I picked up my accent from, honestly, because those truck drivers, you, you got to be able to understand them because they're like, like, Bird Bird 1-9, you know, big chief coming in and something. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. So it's crazy. Um, I'm like, look out. We got Smokey on the road uh, heading up I-20. I'm like, I appreciate that big hoss and, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. That's my uh, my uh, story for that. So 10-4. There you go, Grimace. 10-4. Yeah, what's your handle? There you go. That's not. Oh, I don't know what my handle was. All right. I, yeah. But uh, all right, guys. Uh, I'm getting off of here. I just wanted to. Uh, I haven't done a you now in freaking forever. So um, I just wanted to uh, 
uh, say what's up and, you know, talk to you guys and, you know, so. Oh, lot lizards, yep, yep, Grimace, you gotta, you gotta watch out for them lot lizards, man, they'll come knocking on your truck door and, uh, and trying to ex uh, exploit services from you, you know what I mean? But I was too young, so, um, my dad, uh, my dad said never open the door for anybody, because I think I remember that happening, um, whenever my dad, we parked at this one, uh, it was like a Petro or something, and there's this woman that came up to the truck bed, uh, the cab of the truck and knocked on the door and I looked down and it was like three in the morning or two and um, she was like she looked at me but it was weird because I was obviously I was a kid and um, she kind of like didn't care like she kept knocking she knocked again and I'm like now that I think about it I'm like man I was like 12 at the time like what's wrong with this what's wrong with that but I, I told my dad, I said, Dad, I said, some woman is knocking on the door. And he was like, son, don't answer that. Don't answer it. Just lock the door. Go, just like, just, just don't answer it. And I was like, so, but he didn't tell me, he told me they were called lot lizards when I was a kid. I didn't know what that meant, meant but I, I realized it when I got older. So, but that's my story, Grimace. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Navy Wife, Grimace, Vampire Kitty, J-Man, Desiree, Mex Mex, Sunflower, all you guys are awesome. Um, uh, I appreciate it, and uh, I will definitely try to you now more, guys. So, um, oh, make sure y'all check out my YouTube page. Uh, I got a lot of video editing stuff. Um, I got professional stuff, so... I'm going to start doing more professional video cutting and editing, and I got a GoPro camera, but it's only eight megapixel. I, I thought I was going to save a deal getting a GoPro. It was like a hundred dollars on Facebook. So, but then I found out it was only eight megapixel, and I'm like, all the new ones that are out now, the, the GoPro Hero Four, the GoPro Hero Three, they're all like twelve megapixel, like four K. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, I just got the base model, like, 8 megapixel. Like, that's pretty, that's what my iPhone has is an 8 megapixel. So, I'm like, I might as well be shooting with my cell phone and just transfer it over. Yeah, I need a better vlogging camera. So, um, I'm going to, uh, I guess, whenever I save up some money, after I do a few events and get some steady income coming in, I'm going to get the, the GoPro uh uh, Hero 4 probably and I'll show you what mine looks like <sighs> see this is this is what I got right here is, is uh, the GoPro but it's the it's, it's the basic one it's the first one that I think first came out and this guy was selling it and I didn't know anything about GoPro all I know is they're like badass like if you had a GoPro you were doing things like so um I, when I saw $100 on there, I was like, that's a deal. But now they got them at Best Buy for $299 for like 12 megapixel. Like, and then the, the 4K ones are like 300 bucks. So I'm like, oh, I could have saved up $200 more and got a 12 megapixel. So, yeah, Grimace, you got the $200 one for your truck. So, but I'm going to make this work uh, for right now, and then um, I just got some good vet video editing um, software. Alright, I'm out of here, guys. I'll see y'all later. I appreciate it. And, yeah, I'll, I'm going to take this on a road trip. I got so much video footage right now on this because I've been vlogging everywhere. I've vlogged to go to Chick-fil-A. I was vlogging to shoot guns. I was vlogging getting gas, like... I'm just, I don't know, so, um, whoa, what is that? James Thompson is, yeah, your number one fan. Confetti from, wow, I got confetti. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that happen before. I got to keep going until it says that. Wow, that was neat. All right, guys, I'm out of here. This is James Weather reporting live with your accurate meteorologist, up-to-date weather.
signing out. Whoa! Look at that, I got that. You know, did you get that? Did you get the joke because it says BB Weather? I'm your weather guy? Okay, alright. I know, I'm lame. Let's see, I'm out of here. How do I get out of here? End. End. End broadcast. I don't know. It looks like I might have to stay on with you guys because, uh, oh, right here. Duh, it's right here in the corner.